Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So this is more of a like a spur of the moment type of thing because it just kind of happened out of nowhere. But I was recently in a um, small little fender bender or more like I was parked and someone hit my front bumper. So instead of me just trying to explain to you guys what happened, I'm going to just show you guys so you guys can have a better idea. So here's the front bumper or side of the bumper for the passenger side and I was inside the house when I came when I came outside someone backed into it it's really not that bad right there so I'm in the process of trying to fix myself and almost done but the issue is getting the this sensor to work this is the original parking sensor parking assist sensor and it goes like this through the back side um, but what happened is that this broke the outer part of it broke so it, it won't be able to retain on there so I ordered some new ones So I ordered these two new parking assist sensors from Amazon. And they're they're Chinese made, so I was kind of skeptical about it, but they were like $25, 26 compared to a $200 sensor at the dealer. But it's OEM, see it even says Toyota right there. Right there, Toyota. So that's your original sensor. And I cleaned it up a bit, but it was full of dirt. So my issue is, is when I go to install this new sensor from Amazon, little $20 sensor, um, it doesn't work. So I'm just gonna demonstrate and show you guys what happens. So the sensor goes right here, and this is the new Amazon one. Okay, now to turn the truck on so I can show you guys what happens. So there's the parking assist button and I have it off because whenever it was on and I got hit, it just kept beeping. So I went ahead and turned it on. So I'm gonna turn it back on. And then it shows this on the dash. You guys can see closer. It says check sonar system, see dealer. And it's showing all the little uh, parts where the sensor is So obviously the Chinese sensor doesn't work. It just clips into place, but It doesn't really do the actual sensing So now I'm going to install my old sensor back on my old original sensor from Toyota okay nice and secure okay so let's give this another try And my button is still on for the parking assist. And as you can see, it's not showing any uh, notification on the dash, which means that the Chinese sensors 
are obviously crap. They're they they clip into place, but they don't do the actual proximity sensing that they're supposed to do. She shifts into drive. And as you can see, since I'm I'm in drive and the sensor is just hanging, is just hanging there. It's probably sensing the the side of the bumper or something, but obviously works. It's just that it won't stay on to the bumper piece because it's broken. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna use my old sensor again because it's still good. It's two hundred dollars, and I ain't trying to get a new one when my old one still works. I'm gonna use the plastic retaining piece from uh, the new sensor to be able to secure it onto the side of the bumper piece. And I'm gonna try to do my best to demonstrate how. So let me take my old one off. And I didn't, I didn't mention it earlier, but you squeeze, uh, if it would just focus. You squeeze this right here, right there. You just squeeze it with your thumb and then pull. Okay, so I've been messing with this all evening. And I was originally trying to take this plastic piece off by lifting up these little tabs right here these and there's a total of, of four of them all the way around the sensor and I could not as much as I try you just can't you either need a special tool or you just but you just can't take it off when I realized that you got this little indentation right here okay like this So, right there, a little indentation. You put your screwdriver like right there, and you just wedge it in there, and you just twist it, and that'll pry it up like that. And you just work your way around like that around the sensor. comes right off like that. Is that easy? So now I'm gonna do it with the new one which I haven't done but it should be the same process. Uh, you look for a little indentation right there like that and just twist your screwdriver Like that. Because uh, I need a little bit more. Like that and it came out just like with the old sensor so this is the part I really need right here this is crap um, don't buy it you may be able to even find these by themselves on Amazon don't do the same mistake I did but that's how you learn you go the cheap ride I mean you may even be able to get get them for like eight bucks for a set of two I don't know uh, it beats getting two for twenty six dollars because I did get two of them but if you want to use this, that's fine too. And then, so get rid of this, you don't need this. And then get your old sensor and the new clip. And obviously the pretend the bumpers right here, you're going to put your sensor to the back side of the bumper and this to the front side and clip it in place like that. I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, because I'm not ready to do so and you may want to clean if your sensor is as dirty as mine You may want to clean it up a bit. That will probably help it So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I tried searching this on YouTube, but there really isn't 
There's some other sensor videos, but not for this year, which is 2017 Toyota Tundra. The videos that I saw on YouTube have a similar sensor, but they actually have a actual spring inside. Obviously a different year making my, or a year, a year, my, ah, different model year truck. But I thought I'd go ahead and make it for this. So, yeah, I hope this helped guys. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below in the comment section. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one.